Well, time to chat now with a very distinguished artist who uh, has a lot of artwork up at the Anne Corologos Gallery down in Basalt. And uh, Colin, you're out of Santa Fe, New Mexico, correct? I am indeed. Welcome to Aspen. Thank you. Is this your Gorgeous. first time here? My second time here. Actually, the first time I came here, I was inspired, and this is one of the products from my inspiration. We were just talking about this. This is one of Colin Poole's artworks. Um, where is this? This is in the Aspen area? This is. Uh, uh, this piece, High Mountain Meadow, uh, I was um, from, from traveling around here, seeing some of the rivers uh, and putting it all together. There's also a larger piece that was inspired from the same scene that's, uh, I guess, four feet tall. So and a couple what, different. And what inch. medium is this? Like, this is oil, oil and wood. It looks super cool. I like how you do the, I don't know, it kind of looks like a, <laughs> you know, when you bite into an ice cream and you see all the frozen water lines? Probably Very a lot cool. of that is from doing plein air painting, getting the energy from doing paintings that are done quickly, although this is a studio piece. Mm. There's a lot of that uh, energetic brushstroke that Excellent. goes with it. Now, you do a lot of different mediums. You don't do. just do these. Because do. you start off in sculpture, right? I did, and I still do sculpture. Uh, and I do a wide range of paintings from plein air, uh, which are pieces that are done outside on location, to landscapes, still lives, figurative work. Uh, the muse drags me down many different rows, often at the same time. So there are pieces that may be small from two by uh, three inches to uh, 40 by 60. You just named about six different mediums there. Uh, I you probably kind of do did. it all, don't she you? She said I should only count to five. Okay, <laughs> we'll give it a five. Um, has art been your life? Like, has this been always your occupation? Absolutely. From as long as I can remember, I've always been doing it. When I was a child, I worked in my, my grandmother's studio. She was a, uh, the renowned artist, Una Hambray, and I had a little corner there, and whether I was sculpting or painting or uh, doing collage, that that's the first memories I can remember. So what's your inspiration? How do you find your next project? The inspiration comes from all over. It can come from dreams. It can from, come from places I've been. Uh, the title of this particular show is Dreams and Reality. Uh, and all of these uh, pieces are often based in reality, actual places, things I've held in the palm of my hand, and yet they are infused and layered with places that I've only been in my dreams. Mm. So you, uh, you have an exhibit down at Anne Carlogos Gallery. Is this something that you do often put your art in galleries um, around the country? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Kind of the only way to get out there and be seen. Are you online as well? I am indeed. ColinPool.com. ColinPool.com. Um, so quickly, if you are in town, Anne Carlogos Gallery, um, 6 to 8 p.m. tonight is the reception. Correct. And then tomorrow I'm doing a demo from 11 to 2. Live so, so people can come and watch your paint. Absolutely. You'll watch see, it. Magic you'll see all the secrets. On the canvas. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thanks so much for chatting with us on Plum TV. Um, we are going to be talking about more guests here on the show. How long have we got? Okay. <laughs> One last question for you right before we go to ad sure. break. Um, um, plain air. For those who don't know, what does that mean? Outside on location. Is This was a plain air. This was actually a studio piece. But the plein air pieces for myself are, tend to be smaller. So was this taken from a photograph? This is from a combination. It was originally a plein air piece, a little bit smaller, and then sketches, and then my memories of it and then that becomes this in the studio. I'm hearing all things about spotlights and magnifying glasses and, and photos and plain air. You kind of do it all, don't you? Absolutely. For the still life, sometimes I'm doing very small objects and on a very large scale, and those can be, uh, because I can't see the small objects at a distance enough to stand in front of a large canvas, so the little spotlights, well, magnifying go. glass. Colin Paul, great artist. Check out his work at Anne Carlogas Gallery down in Salt. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me.